you hear the mythology of like Pele and how Pele sleeps in the volcano in Hawaii, but she's going to be awakened during uh, during the uh, apocalypse or the end times. So I remember I tried to contact Pele. She's like, "What the fuck is she? Real grumpy, real grumpy bitch." And she was like, "I'm not to be awakened or dealt with until the end, you know, to the end. Like, I mean, when shit is breaking, not when we know we're in the end now." But we in the end times. When the end happens, Pele said that she'll wait. And I got the same uh, feeling when uh, Ella was talking about she was at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean waiting to rise. Now, remember, her voice broke glass. This bitch is bad. So this is also... The mythology of Cthulhu, he will rise in the end of humanity. Uh, uh, it, it, uh, and he will destroy uh, humans. He sleeps while in the soul. Siren, you know, we turn, we're talking about the black man's soul. They're talking about our consciousness, the black woman's soul. They're talking about her consciousness, which is one. We're one. Her, him and her is some bullshit from down here. We're an androgynous union. And if you're physically in this world so advanced that you're able to find your significant other, you will know what the fuck I'm talking about. The true significant other. That first starts with finding the significant you. Because your significant other, if you are, if you don't know you and you're pretending to be something that you're not, which most people are, they, they haven't gotten down to the raw roots and understanding mm -hmm. this is for those of you who do not understand what, what the whole entire goal of these like-minded thinkers in the beginning were getting down to, who and what they are. And once you become honest and start to understand who and what you are by, by, or from the perspective of ancient thought, that's what we're going on. The proof of how the ancients thought. See, they, they kind of classified as woke conscious nowadays shit with how niggas online are thinking. But the true like-minded thinkers were trying to figure out how the ancients thought into knowing that's the best thing we, we can possibly have here, try to mimic that, that perspective as we dealt with ourselves in today's time. So the perspective, they knew that they were gods and beyond that. So if you don't work from that era or from that, I'm sorry, I said you, if you don't work from that angle, then you're not even in this. So a Christian is in no position to say, or should be in no position to say shit about us because they have nothing to do with us. It's not even a debate. Are we gods or, or is there an invisible motherfucker in the sky going, you're a good nigger, you're a good nigger, you're a good nigger, here's a good nigger sticker. Shout out to my man, B.O.B. and his Naga album for putting down something like that. And we are at the whole tech club right now. Go see the video, baby. You're a good nigga. There's nobody up there. So niggas who understand the concept and the ancient way they understood and used the word God as a level of consciousness creator on earth. If you understand that, you wouldn't even waste your fucking spit trying to explain who and what you are versus a Christian. Stupidity to the highest degree. You talking to fucking children. Someone who believes somebody's in the sky, sky daddy, doing this shit. Fuck them talking about us. Y'all are fucking stupid. 